The Crimson Rector Sword and Shield are a reliable combo in Lords of the Fallen. To get them, you'll first need to progress through the game until reaching the Sanctuary of Baptism Vestige. From there, run out into the sun and dodge roll through some wooden barricades on your right. Find the ladder and drop down to the lower wooden scaffolding area. This area will require some carefully timed platforming, and there are enemies waiting in ambush behind multiple corners and breakable barriers that will try to push you off the edge as you make your way through this section. Most can be avoided if you just keep moving, but there is one near the end that is better off dealt with. Near this final bend is the enemy that we'll need to take care of rather than just run past. Once that's done, proceed to the lift and take it up to a new area. Continue forward until you cross over a bridge and reach a dead end. At this point, pull out the Umbral Lantern to reveal a platform you can step out onto. Locate the solid ground below and put the lantern away once you are standing over it to drop down. Then use the lantern once more to cross over two gaps. Head to the blocked spiral staircase, then transition to the umbral. This will reveal a ladder, which leads up to a secluded area with a fairly tough encounter. The Crimson Rector Sword will be sitting on a corpse near the fountain. Once you've grabbed it, you can backtrack a short distance and cross over a bridge that is only present in the Umbral. Halfway across the bridge, soul flay the nearby corpse to get the Skyrest Bridge Key. Look out though, as a Reaper-type enemy will appear and begin pursuing you. On the other side of the bridge is a statue that can be used to shift out of the Umbral. Once you are out of the Umbral, head up the spiral staircase. You'll find another fountain and the Crimson Rector shield on a nearby corpse. There's also a gate that can be opened with a Skyrest bridge key, which leads back to Skyrest. The Crimson Rector Sword requires 19 strength to use proficiently and has a moveset that was clearly inspired by the medium weight Claymore from Dark Souls. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me in the comments where I'll do my best to help. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day if you're here today, have a great Friday, and a great weekend, and as always, thanks for watching.